The playoff picture will take shape here in Week 16. It won't be determined, but certainly we'll know a lot more than we do here heading into Week 16. Jason Horowitz, Clark Judge, Ian Eagle, glad to be with you on the End Zone, presented by Sony. And uh, guys, obviously we have to start at the top. Let's start with the NFC. Seed number one is on the line. Giants, Panthers. Who uh, takes it? I'll take the Giants because they're home this week against the Panthers. I think they find a way to win this game. I like the Giants. Uh, I've lost confidence in the Giants. I really have. I think the Plexigo Burris situation, if they were able to handle it initially, maybe uh, I would still feel strongly that the Giants were the team to beat in the NFC. But now compounded with Brandon Jacobs, and there have been breakdowns now. I think uh, teams have cracked that veneer a little bit, mm -hmm. and Carolina is playing with so much confidence right now. Their running game is off the charts impressive. I think the Giants are, are going to struggle to the finish line here. I really do. And, and when you saw what Tashard Choice did to the Giants in the fourth quarter, now that you got D'Angelo Williams coming at you, now that you got Jonathan Stewart coming at you, you and then Steve Smith, who let's, let's not forget, in the playoffs yeah. a couple of years ago, yeah. beat him over the top big sure. time right. with Jake DeLome. Uh, the other question mark, I think, for me heading into the playoffs, will the Eagles get there? Because they are the sexy pick right now. Mm -hmm. They need help. They need either Atlanta or Tampa Bay to lose one of its final two games. I don't think Tampa will lose because they have both at home. They haven't lost at home all season. Atlanta could lose this weekend at Minnesota. Yep. How do you see that playing out? Well, you, you just nailed it on the head. It comes down to Atlanta going to Minnesota and playing a team that may have Tavares Jackson playing, doesn't have one of the Williams uh, guys playing. And tackles, but they defensive do have tackles. Adrian Peterson. They do have Adrian Peterson. MVP but, right now, by the way, I think. Yeah, I, I think agree with you. I moved into that slot. But, but they're going in there, and they know the situation. All they have to do is win this ball game because they've got St. Louis next week yeah. at home. That's a gimme. And I agree with you on Tampa Bay. Philadelphia's in tough shape. And, and I thought that Philadelphia-Dallas game was going to mean something at the end of the year. I'm not so sure it is. Does Dallas get into the playoffs? I think they do. Uh, I still believe that, uh, that Dallas has the goods to, to go to the postseason here. Uh, the question is no longer about talent. The question for them is taking advantage now of the opportunity. The door is open for them, and, and uh, obviously uh, we know the Cowboys are capable of beating anybody when they're right. The Philadelphia situation is interesting because it's a reminder in the NFL how quickly things can change because everybody jumped on that bandwagon after the tie uh, against Cincinnati, and uh, we thought beyond that, Donovan McNabb was done in Philadelphia, Andy Reid was done in Philadelphia, and here we are now, they're still alive, they're still in it, there's still hope for the Eagles. Philly made their own bed. Uh, that Cincinnati game uh, is still, in my mind, gonna come back to haunt them. They get that they win. they beat Atlanta. They, head beat, head Atlanta. they beat Atlanta. That's the big right. key. Yeah. And, right. and now, they're, they're, while some people say, well, the tie actually, no, it doesn't help them. No. The tie hurt them. The tie really hurt them in the grand scheme of things the, in the, the NFC. The only way the tie helps them is if they have the same amount of wins as another team. Because Correct. that means they would have one less loss. Correct. Yeah, that's and right. They, they but the, but, but the they got hurt. the same amount of wins. But the tie hurts them because yes. that's a team you have to beat. I yeah, mean, that's a team you win. should win. Yeah, should have been a victory. And, 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 and again, not to kill on it, you should know that you can not You can tie in the <laughs> NFL. Uh, let's move over here to the AFC because also the, the battle for the top seed. And obviously what hurts Tennessee this weekend is the fact that Albert Hainsworth, not going to play. Kyle Vandenbosch, not going to play. That defense gave up yards in chunks to mm -hmm. Houston last week. Pittsburgh is coming in off, you know, the Steelers are feeling very good about yeah. themselves right now, especially 92-yard drive to beat the Baltimore Ravens. you got to think that Pittsburgh's coming in here with the momentum and maybe the team to beat in this game. I think they are. I they mean, I are. Think, I think they are because, I mean, you're talking to someone who's biased here. I saw Pittsburgh last weekend. That was a great, great drive at the end of the game against Baltimore. Really good defense, but it tells you something. They've been doing it all yep. season long. Yeah. I mean, this is what they've been doing all season long. That's the mark of a really good team. Plus, now you're talking about a Tennessee team. It's since, uh, since 2004 is 3-13 without Albert Hainsworth. Yep. They lost three straight last year. It's a different team without him. Yep. Pittsburgh's got the momentum. So, I, if Pittsburgh is one and Tennessee is two after this weekend, where, where does look, the AFC East is the next question. What happens there? Well, quickly on the Pittsburgh thing, just because uh, they have to be given credit, they play lights-out defense. I mean, now we're, we're past the point where we're saying, wow, this is an excellent defense. This is beyond that. Uh, they're playing at a ridiculously high level week in and week out. The offense continues to find ways. I'm not overly impressed with the offense, but when they need the drive and when they need points, they get it. AFC East, uh, Jason, it's anybody's guess because the Miami Jet game with everything storyline-wise connected to that could really determine not just the one playoff team, but the second playoff team, if New England can keep winning. Now, New England has some own issues of, of their own, but I think 
I think you're going to get two teams out of that division yep, in the postseason. Mm -hmm. When the smoke clears, AFC East will have two think, teams in the postseason. Because we've all agreed that Dallas will beat Baltimore this weekend in right. terms of our opinion. Agreed. Uh, so that would then that takes they, them out, they, of the takes out of the picture. And whoever is that second team in the AFC East. And the Patriots get the Cardinals at home this weekend. Mm -hmm. A West Coast team coming East for a 1 o'clock kick. That's huge, although, you know, obviously the Cardinals will be And Arizona needs it. Just to get yep. their confidence yep. back, they need it. Real quickly, 6-8 uh, and eight San Diego still in the playoff picture. They have to go to Tampa Bay. Any chance there that they catch Denver? No. Who has Baltimore or no. Buffalo at home? No. Two reasons. San Diego is a terrible road team, and Tampa doesn't lose at home. Okay. Okay. Clark, I, I would tell you that under normal circumstances, I would absolutely agree with you. But after what I witnessed last week with San Diego coming from behind and against Kansas there. City, I was there. Yep. They had no business. That's Kansas City. I know. I know that's the Kansas City karma. But I, Denver right now, and you're right about Tampa Bay, if San Diego was able to find a way, somehow find a way, considering everything that's going on in Buffalo, and I'm not going to pick the game because I'm doing the game, Denver against Buffalo. I'm just mm -hmm. saying... Stranger things have happened, and I thought it was over. I, I think Denver thought it was over, and yeah, that's part of the right, reason why they've right. responded the way that they did. Right. All right, we'll see how it all plays out. That's the playoff picture here heading into week 16, and uh, we'll do it again heading into week 17. For Clark Judge and Ian Eagle, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.